I'm Lenny Kay. I'm a fan of rock and roll. I write about it. I get to play it. I get to collect it. And I get to live in it every day. And it's a good way to live one's life. And this is a song about the things that you accumulate in that lifetime. Sooner or later we're all gonna find that we've made it to the end of the line. It gets heavier every mountain you climb. It's the things you leave behind. It's been one of those years when people keep passing into the past, but you're still here. Got a came about when I was cleaning out a friend's house. Um, as I cleaned out my father's accumulation, as I've cleaned out other friends' houses or things they've left behind and thinking about all the stuff that I have. It's a song that everybody can relate to because when you leave this universe, you kind of leave it all behind. and. Uh, for other people a sort, and uh, something I think about, I think about it when I go on eBay, late at night at four o'clock in the morning and drunk bid on that 45, I don't really need, um, 
but it's a song I believe everybody can relate to because our possessions represent a piece of ourselves. And uh, I don't know, it just, you know, looking around at one's accumulation of a lifetime, you begin to see a biography or an autobiography of who that person was and what they were drawn to. And uh, I certainly have <laughs> enough detritus to keep uh, many people happy. And uh, hopefully it will be dispersed back into the world from whence it came. I think all the work we do is, is kind of like that. Um, my songs, the, the canon of recordings I've been privileged to make, um, but most of all, the people who you come in contact with, who influence you, who have given you inspiration and hope. Um, and you know that some of the things that you leave behind are the way you touch somebody's heart. And, uh, you know, we're all part of this great continuum of legacy. And I think of this song as not only a sense of how you've gathered together all the blessings of life, but where they go to from here. We're really only on this planet for a brief millisecond of eternal time. And it's, it's interesting to see what will survive into the future. I mean, I think quite a bit of the fire that uh, took place at Universal Studios that destroyed all those incredible master tapes. And I'm not that concerned with we don't have a Billie Holiday master tape or some of the outtakes. I really am concerned about all the artists who nobody knows about now but might be discovered by some future archaeologist and say, here's a person who was there in 1964, maybe their record never came out, maybe, uh, you know, it was only three copies, but they find them and, you know, like Herman Melville. I mean, Herman Melville's first edition of Moby Dick uh, was only 3,000 copies, of which 2,500 were burned in a warehouse fire. He wasn't really even rediscovered until decades after his death that Moby Dick was was embraced as one of the great works of the 19th century. So you don't know what you leave behind. All you know is that somebody hopefully will pick it up and move into the future with it. Because um, we're all kind of custodians of stuff. Um, you know, we, we only have it for a little time. Uh, I mean, have an antique. <laughs> you know, it's, it's only, you're only caretaking it until the next person gets it. Or, let's be honest, the trash heap gets it. <laughs> there comes a time in every songwriter's life that he has to write a country song about a country song. And this is my contribution to the genre. Because every time I hear a country song, I think about me.
society is to bring us together, to give us a common language of communication that's beyond the literal way in which language translates. Um, all languages are somewhat limited, I think, because they try to condense life experience into words, and words have definition, and definitions are often, as Mayo of the Red Crayola once said, definitions define limit. One of the things I appreciate about music in the universe is that it will cross boundaries, it will cross cultures. Perhaps it takes you a while to learn its particular grammar, but I believe that music is a force that heals and unites us. I've spent some time in the Middle East, in Israel, and I also love Arabic music. And when I listen to the musics of these cultures, they're really one and the same. There's very little difference between Arabic music and the, the tones of Israeli music. And so, you know, destime is a way that people can be brought together through music by understanding that you can cross boundaries. I mean, rock and roll is a total example of what that might mean in terms of bridging, at one point, the insular worlds of country music and rhythm and blues. And all of a sudden you have 
a multiracial music that made people understand that racialism in music can be a way to bridge, to communicate to others. Thank you.